for the last four days, we've had Arizona Sun Decking doing my coating on the garage floor. It's a, uh, a four-day process where they acid wash the floor, put the coating, put the uh, uh, color, then they put several coats of sealer. We've completed our driveway and we had uh, European pavers do the install and supply the pavers here. Uh, this particular paver's been out about a year and a half and um, uh, it has a stone uh, look-alike uh, surface on it which um, uh, is very uh, unique. It, like I say, it's just been out about a year and a half and this is the part of the job where I wanted this look to kind of transfer into the garage. Last Seek Impressions also did my front entry gate and the uh, as you can see I had the color uh, put on the same color as my windows, my fireplace tops, my roof tile, my tile on the on the fence it's got that red theme outside along with my stucco finish that I had uh, red uh, accents put into the finish of the stucco. So I had this same color theme going through the whole front of the house. Inside our front entry here we have our we have our outside dining that we'll be doing uh, for the show and uh, we've got our travertine pavers here and, and Tanner Materials uh, Tanner Tile did the pavers for me and um, we, uh, we have quite a big area here for entertaining and stuff in the front of the home. What we've done in the dining room, formal dining room, is we finished our cobalt blue insert that simulates the same uh, pattern as we have in the ceiling. And like inside the home, we've got the blue theme going uh, throughout the house. We've got uh, inserts in our travertine and bathrooms and all that all coincide with the same theme inside the house. Burdett Cabinet Company is our, our cabinet uh, company that we're using on this home. You can see that I have several different colors. Uh, I've got a white uh, paint glaze finish for my cabinets here. And then I, on the island, I'm doing a darker glaze finish uh, at the island. The Burdett Cabinet Company is also making my butcher block uh, black walnut countertop It'll go over the top of this, and then I'll have a granite insert here with an undermount sink. Um, but we are probably 75% uh, complete with the cabinet package from Burdett's here. And uh, as you can see, some of the detail in some of the wall units, uh, refrigerator cabinets, the butler pantry, it's really uh, coming together. We're in the master bedroom. In our master bedroom, we, we have our uh, concrete countertop completed, our uh, decorative metal that, um, that Brian uh, did for us, uh, we did talk about in a previous video, but our floor tile is finished, our wood is finished, and we're basically um, uh, a few more touches in here. I'm going to be doing a cobalt blue arch between the master and the uh, master bathroom that will really kind of set the entrance to the bathroom off. We're in the master bathroom uh, uh, now. We're just about finished with the tile inserts. Um, the, uh, we're ready to do our plumbing trim at this point. Um, we have, uh, I'm doing a solid travertine uh, stair tread here with the accent tile in the face. The granite countertop that I have for this project is a, a um, a unique uh, granite that um, there is no more of it. It is a light color granite that has um, a capability of light coming through the granite. And so as you can see, underneath the rim here of my top from Burdett's, I have LED lighting all the way around this to where when you turn the switch on, the granite countertop will light up. I'm standing in the sunken Ramada swim-up bar at the pool. And what we have is um, I've taken the, uh, the brick that we've got on the front wall out front and the fence and did accents uh, on our four columns here. We took the brick and made corners. Uh, we've got a different brick in the inserts of the, of the column. Uh, but it all ties together with the front, the back, and the theme that we're trying to achieve here on the home. 
We'll have a, a, we'll have a, a, a TV, sunken TV in the face of the fireplace that is connected to the uh, IT room in our house. Um, we're also completed with the pool. Uh, the back wall, the spillways, and all that are completed. We're just waiting for pots and plants. And um, uh, basically, uh, a week from today, we'll be have water in the pool and the spillway will be running.